Hey guys, so a few days ago I've made a short video about how to install Hyper-V on Windows 11 Home Edition. This process is very simple, very easy, there's nothing complicated about it, that's why I decided to post it as a short and not to make a full tutorial about it. As you might know, Hyper-V is only available on Windows 10 or 11 Pro and Enterprise, but not on Home Edition. So if you are on this Windows version and you don't have Hyper-V, you should take a look at that short video first, the link will be somewhere in the description, and then come back to watch this one to learn how to install Windows 11 or any other OS for that matter on Hyper-V, and how to fix all the errors that you might encounter. So let's begin. But first, in advance, I would like to thank you very much for liking this video and subscribing to my channel. Your support means everything and obviously is what keeps me and this channel going. So thank you very much. First thing you need is Windows 11 ISO. Simply search Download Windows 11 ISO, click on the first link from Microsoft, scroll down, click on Select Download and choose Windows 11 Multi Edition. Download, select Language and Confirm. To finish, click on 64-bit Download. When the download is complete, open Hyper-V and don't worry that your icon doesn't look like mine, I use a custom icon and by custom I mean what I found on Google, because I don't like the official Hyper-V one that looks like an office drawer or something like that. So your icon will look something similar to this one from Hyper-V Quick Create. Once Hyper-V is open, here in the right, click on New and select Virtual Machine. And here press Next. Uh, give it a name, I will give Windows 11. Next again, select Generation 2. Next, give the machine whatever amount of RAM memory you wish. I have 16 gigs, so I will give it half, 8 gigs. I usually uncheck this option here. Next, select Default Switch. Again, here you can give whatever amount of storage you wish. I like to keep it always at 100. And the last step, select Install an operating system from a bootable image. Here, browse to the file location and select your ISO. When you're done, click on Finish. We clicked on Finish, but we are not exactly done. Now, right-click on the virtual machine and click on Settings. First thing, select the number of virtual processors. I have 8 cores, so I'll give it 4. Because we are dealing with Windows 11 here, at security we have to enable Secure Boot and TPM. Otherwise, during the installation we will face that infamous message, this PC doesn't meet the minimum requirements or something like this. Click on Apply, OK, and that's it. Now right-click on Windows 11 Virtual Machine and click on Connect. Here, normally you need to click on Start first and then Connect. But every time during installation, every time when I did this, I always got this stupid message, press any key to boot from CD. And no matter what key I press, it doesn't work. So I have to shut down, to turn it off and then retry. And that's why I always start with connect and then click on start. And while I do that, I keep my finger on a key, any key, usually spacebar. So click on start, press key, release key and done. But you don't have to do this every time, don't worry, just first time during the installation. I consider this to be the first issue during an installation, which is not that much talked about. Uh, you have to kind of figure this on your own or dig deep on forums. As you can see, because we checked TPM, now we don't have that message. And here I will choose Windows 11 Pro, not Home. And it's actually a good reason why I do this. It has to do with the sound and I will explain this later in the video. This is a normal step here, so don't worry if you don't have internet access. Just click on I don't have internet and then followed by continue with limited setup. At this point, don't try to click something away, don't try to just wait. If you look closer, in the right corner down, you'll see that I don't have sound. The reason is because Hyper-V doesn't emulate the sound card. But we can bypass this with the Enhance Session option. In this small window here, click on Show Options, and at Remote Audio, click on Settings. Here, make sure you have both Play on this computer and Record from this computer checked. 
so both of them needs to be checked. Now select the resolution you want and click on connect. I recommend not to go immediately with full resolution, just leave it a while like this and then when everything is done, when all the settings are done and Windows runs normally, then you can select the full resolution and then you have no problems. And this was the difference, the reason mentioned earlier between Windows 11 Home and Windows 11 Pro. While I was testing the home version on Hyper-V, I could not access the enhanced session. This small window never appeared at boot up, nor in the toolbar here up. It was always grayed out. And no matter what I tried, I could not change it. I always thought that it's a problem from my side, but then I tried out Pro version and it worked just fine, as you can see here. To make sure, I tried home a second time and it didn't work, and then I went back to Pro and it worked without any problems. But no internet, not yet anyway. So let's fix that now. First. Turn off the virtual machine. And here at Hyper-V Manager, right click on it and select Virtual Switch Manager. Leave it on External. Click on Create Virtual Machine. Give it a name, any name you want. Click Apply and OK. Now right click on the Windows 11 virtual machine, go to settings and at network adapter here, select the new created network. Apply, OK, and then connect to Windows 11. At this point you should see the Ethernet connection and all should be good and running. However, if by any chance this is not the case and you still have issues with the connection, you need to go to Control Panel, Network Connections, or faster, press Windows key plus R and type ncpa.cpl, and Network Connection should uh, open automatically. Here, right click on the Virtual Ethernet, go to Sharing and check this option, allow other network users to connect to this computer's internet connection. That's a long name. And that's it. Now everything should be fine and you should have a perfectly running operating system in Hyper-V. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please give it a like and consider subscribing to this channel so you won't miss any of the future videos. Cheers!